Have you ever thought about the wind and the willows? Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of That, F that Manga Dude's First Volume Impressions. This is the FBI, this is where I talk about a first volume or a one shot and I try to give my, my two cents in the best way that I can without trying to spoil too much, at least this time around, <laughs> or at least for the, the past couple of episodes because obviously the first episode was a test and um, definitely got some feedback. I feel like I've gotten my stride on, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. This is going to be a really fun episode because this is a very hyped up series. Uh, one that I've been looking forward to and many people have been looking forward to getting into print in English. So let's get started. All right, I am beyond excited to talk about this series. I'm gonna jump right into it. It is Sakamoto Days Volume 1 by Yuto Suzuki. It was first released in uh, Japan, November 2020 in Weekly Shonen Jump, and it just released here April 5th, 2022. Uh, I managed to get my volume early, so I meant, so I decided to read it a little bit early and uh, report how I felt about the first volume. So let's talk about the spine and the cover. Cover is awesome. I like the movement that they use. There's a really nice sense of composition. I love the font that they use for the... For the, what's it called for the title it just looks great and I, I love the use of the, the main character's face within the O um, also the spine is really nice I don't know something about how simple it is I like the white with the red black looks great and also just the nice cutout of uh, the main character as well and on the back of course it looks nice you've got an, a copy of what's happening on the front cover but with a gunshot wound um, to the book overall this is a really nice cover I think this is uh, I would say one of Viz Media's uh, better covers and spines recently, uh, in my opinion. Uh, I do think they have a lot of really good ones, but I think this one really works really well with how this entire series works out. So, let's get started with the characters. I'm gonna start with the, the main character here. He's on the front page, front cover, like everything. His name is Taro Sakamoto. So, he is a fantastic hitman. He was one of the best, the best of the best, really. Uh, no one could compare against him. But he started dating, uh, found a woman that he loved and cherished, and then decided to retire and open up a store, uh, as you can see by the front cover. <laughs> Overall, he's just a great character. Um, he doesn't say a whole lot in the beginning and, and actually in general, and I think that's like what makes it so fun, and I'm going to go more into that uh, when we get into the story. But overall, just a, he's a really great main character. He's like this, the perfect, solemn, quiet type, but gets the job done and is very loyal, and we appreciate loyal characters. Next up, I'm going to talk about the other character who's on the front cave. Uh, Front cover, this is Shin. This is going to be somebody who used to work uh, under Sakamoto back when Sakamoto was in his um, assassin hitman days. Uh, he is a very special character. I, I won't say it to spoil it, so I'm just going to shut up about it. But let's just say he has a very unique power. And overall, he's just a cool character. I mean, he is what you would expect out of a shonen, uh, shonen protagonist. So it's interesting to see him as not the main character, so that's cool. Um, and I, overall, he's just a fun character. I mean, he's willing to learn and gets clearly gets brought up into uh, working at the store with Sakamoto, so that's cool. As for other characters that get introduced, you also have Aoi, who is Sakamoto's wife. She's just a really nice, girl, uh, nice character. Um, not much to say about her yet. Also, we have Officer Nakase, who is uh, a character that gets introduced a little bit later in the first volume. Um, she's pretty cool, very dedicated to her job, and just seems like she's going to uh, hopefully play a bigger role uh, as the series goes on, but overall she has a pretty decent role in the first volume, and I really like her, actually. She's cool. And last but not least, we have Lu Xiaotang. Uh, I, I, I'm probably butchering that name. It's a, it's, it's a Chinese name. Um, but she's a character who is related to uh, one of the Chinese mafia that's located in Tokyo or in the place that they are. Um, she's really cool. I'm not gonna, I'm probably gonna show a picture of her on screen, but I'm not gonna show her inside the manga because it kind of gives spoilers as to what goes on. But overall, this is a really nice cast of characters. I mean, over, like, liking how Sakamoto works with Shin, overall liking the family aspect of everything. Just a really fun series. I mean, it really... The characters really work off of each other like perfectly, so I think that's one of its biggest strengths. Now, let's go on and talk about the story. 
Okay, let's talk about the story and the writing. So the story is pretty straightforward. Uh, like I mentioned, Sakamoto is a hitman, one of the best of the best, but decides to quit and retire because he finds a woman who he respects and adores and doesn't want to really spend the time uh, being a mafia man or being a part of uh, like an assassin group or hitman group. So he quits and opens up a store and... Yeah, that's basically the, like, I would say the gist of the story. Um, definitely gets the job done. It's not, uh, it is, it is a interesting concept and it, it kind of falls in line with the current trend of, like, uh, Mafia slash Yakuza gone, like, X thing. <laughs> uh, along the lines of, like, Way of the House Husband or, um, Hinamatsuri, stuff like that. And I guess Hinamatsuri, he's still in the Mafia, but... Um, you get the idea. Like, it's one of those, like, oh, the Mafia man slash Yakuza doesn't want to be a part of it anymore and decides to do something else. So, uh, I think it does it pretty well. Uh, I think overall, the story is, uh, very, flo like, flows really nicely. I think it has pretty good writing across the board. It is very funny. Um, but also, it packs a punch when it needs to in terms of emotional impact. I think, um... The, like I said, like because how the characters are written, they they are they work so well together, and it's just overall just a fun uh, read. I mean, I read this pretty fast, and um, it builds something really nice up uh, to prepare for the second volume. So I'm like really excited for when the second volume comes out. So let's talk about the art. The art is great. <laughs> I, I think that's one of also one of its biggest strengths. I'm gonna flash through here real quick just to show you some of like the really cool parts. But overall, like um, has really nice paneling. The composition choices are very solid. I think its use of lin like line and characters is just like really well done. Overall, I mean, this is just an awesome series. It's just like a really cool, really fun. I'm just gonna flip through it so you don't see like the story or anything, but I think it has that perfect mix of action and comedy drawings and comedy art mixed with like that action art. And I think it flows so seamlessly between the two that you really can't tell that you're reading like uh, one or the other. It's like a nice blend uh, comedy, comedy action. And I really appreciate that. Um, I think Yuta Suzuki's got a nice formula going on in terms of its art, the art as well. Uh, just really excited to see how they improve uh, in future volumes. I bet you people who have read the Simba Pub uh, will say something like, "Oh, it's amazing!" And I do see screenshots every once in a while, uh, which is unfortunate, but I totally get why because like this series is pretty hype and it deserves all the hype it gets. So. For my final thoughts here, I, I think I went through this review pretty quick because, like, I don't want to spoil too much. But overall, this is a fantastic first volume. It builds out everything very well. Uh, you get a gist of how all the characters will react and interact throughout uh, the rest of the series. And I think it builds into something that hopefully will uh, pay off later down in the series. So I'm really excited for it. I think uh, if you like comedy action uh this is right up your alley this is something you definitely need to pick up and if you like shonen jump series at all this is like a must pick up you have to um but even then like i would say if even if you don't really care too much about it i'd say give it a try just in case because maybe this will be the series that kind of swings you into like that kind of genre of comedy action so yeah um that's going to be it for this first volume impressions i hope you enjoyed it uh, it was nice and short and simple, so yeah, let me know what you think of this series if you've read it. Uh, I really like it, so give me your opinions in the comments below, and you know what to do as well. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe, but if you're not going to do any of those things, I'm just happy that you made it to the end of the video. I appreciate any time or any support at all, so thank you. And that's going to be it for this, so I will see you in the next episode of the FVI.